so now last video we learned that how to connect with mongo's db and display that values okay so now in this video now if you remember last video we already know how to get that display that value so all those codes are there so here we connected and now we able to get that data now i'm going to create new one more to insert that record so to insert dot js okay so this one we going to write that code so before that now i'm going to use that school as that db and student as collection so right now we have uh, only one value is there so now i will go and try to insert one more rows in this one so let's now move to this so we know first thing we need to create that const okay and then db connect okay equals to required and then we need to do that single bracket dot mongoch mongo db okay done so now oh no sorry we imported this one now we need to create one function where we can call it and call that db connection and then use it so now what i will do i will create one const okay and i will give that name as insert okay equals to i will make that async because it's going to return us promise so i will make it async and then this and then arrow function we will try to do it okay so now in this one we will create one now again const db equals to await and db connection okay so this one what we will get it here db connection if we'll do then if you remember that mongo's db we imported so here we pass that database name as a school and collection name as a student so this one i'm trying to use it here and now after this i'll do one more const okay and result i will put one variable and here again what i will do db dot insert one so right now i'm going to do insert one so i will put that insert one then i will put that bracket oh no not this one and then i will put that curly bracket and now we need to know what all value we need to insert so if we go to mango mongos we can see we have name address and class okay so now i will go and try to write that code for this one so what i will do i will put that name okay so now we will put this time suppose anything amit and address we need to put okay address i will put rachi okay and then we have one more called class okay class and i will put suppose 12 so this one one is done so now we will close this one okay and then i will put console dot log and we will print that result okay so now it's done so now we will print that console dot result so this one is done and now we need to call this insert function so okay so now i will call it insert sorry yeah so now our function is created our program now i will go ahead and save this one so before just running i will just here refresh and we see only one we have now i will go and try to what i will do i will do it here node and insert dot 
js we will run it okay so it's returning promise pending okay because this one i not converted to a wet we need to convert it i done okay so now if we go and see here this will be only one and now it came with the two okay class you can see it here now what is that issue i put that class as a smaller character so it's now created one more uh, class so i will go ahead and delete this record okay and now i will go and try to correct this one here and i will make that capital c as a class and then i will save it and i will go ahead and create new terminal and then i will put node dot insert dot js okay so now it's acknowledged us that it's true one object got inserted and object id also will get it here so now if i go it here and do that refresh you can see one more got added uh again i did that one mistake so you can see that here name is wrong so it's again created one more uh sorry my bad i will go ahead and create that this time correct one so here it's class is like this okay i will save this one you can now again try to run that insert your js so now we got it object id created and if we can go it and try to see it here so you can see now this got created successfully okay so now you know how to do that insert i hope you like this video